I guess the obvious, just your thoughts on uh, learning about BAM today and your thoughts on how the Heat move forward. Uh, well, I, you know, I, as BAM's uh, coach, I, I feel for him because I know how important uh, the game is to him, competition, you know, the opportunity with this team, um, where we are right now, all of these things, um, you know, mean so much uh, to him. Um, and... You know, we'll just take it uh, one step at a, at a time. Uh, um, you know, like, uh, you know, the outlook on it uh, is we'll be able to take care of it, and it won't be nearly as long as uh, it seems, you know, at, at this point, you know, when you're him, but it's easier said than done. Um, and, you know, he'll still be uh, very much, you know, with the team, and he'll, because it is his hand, you know, he'll be able to, get on the court pretty quickly and at least do conditioning and, and some skill work with his left hand and, and all that kind of stuff. You always talk to us, I and mean, it's obvious to anyone, how incredibly unique he is and how really your defense is in many ways based on his unique components and to a degree, lesser degree, maybe his yeah. offense also. So how on the fly do you take someone that unique out of the mix and still just keep pushing forward? Yeah, I mean, well, we'll, we'll – push forward for sure i mean that that's our our duty and our responsibility uh, bam is you know one of the most dynamic unique players in the, in the league uh so there's not going to be one solution you know for that it's going to take uh, some unique uh solutions and you know some thought and uh we'll figure it out there'll be some things that we'll have to do differently there's no way that uh we can uh, make it look the same uh he's a, a an absolute hybrid on, on both ends of the court uh you know, he's, he's extremely unique, um, arguably, you know, one of the most unique players in the entire association. Um, and I think we're better prepared for it, you know, uh, with our, our roster than, you know, previously. Um, and we'll just continue to figure it out and, and move forward. So would Jimmy and, and Dwayne and Tyler play today? Uh, Jimmy will not. Uh, Tyler uh, will play. And Dwayne will play. And then Omir, um, you know, we haven't seen too much of him in games so far, but just behind the scenes, you know, what the, what progress have we seen from him as far as just preparing for an opportunity yeah. like this? Yeah, he's been doing his part. So has KZ. You know, both of them have been fully immersed in the Miami Heat player development program. Uh, they've done everything we've asked for them. They both have, you know, great work ethics. They've uh, really worked on their conditioning, their skill work, uh, understanding like what we're trying to get done, um, and that's uh, what you have to do as a young player is just make sure you're prepared and ready uh, until your number is called. Uh, and they've done all those things, and uh, likely either one or both, you know, will will be called on now. I think they're ready. And just because we haven't asked you in a, in a week or two, just any update on Markeith and no, how he's not having an update. Okay. Yeah. Spo, you've had uh, 10 games where the team has had 25-plus assists. The other night was another one of those. You've won the majority of those. What about that aspect of your offense makes it so good when that ball is moving around? Yeah, we have a very unselfish group. We have guys that want to help another player, one of their teammates, play well, um, and they enjoy each other's success. Those are, are great qualities to have for a team, particularly offensively. Um, and we have a lot of guys, veteran guys, that – are literally just competing to win. It's not about their numbers, not about their shots or touches or, or any of these things. That that facilitates a game that you know where the ball can move and and find um, you know the right people at the right times. Uh, you know our veteran players are, are, have kind of uh, really helped that. Um, and the other night, I thought we did some really good things offensively. The, you know, the ball didn't go in, particularly in that first half. Um, but in terms of intentions and getting to our strengths, this was one of our better offensive games of the year. Uh, you know, and obviously it was probably one of our, our <laughs> uh, poor defensive games. Eric, I know there's rarely s silver linings in this, but could this also help Bam's knee finally get right? You had mentioned to us maybe some time off. Yeah, it definitely will. You know, it's a bone bruise. Those take time. Uh, you know, he'll be able to take care of that uh, and do all the corrective, uh, you know, re rehab work on, on his legs, his conditioning. Um, 
all of that. And because of the nature of where his injury is, like I said, he'll be able to get it, be on the court pretty soon. And we'll go via Zoom to John Michael. Go ahead. Hi, Eric. John Michael, uh, Cavs Television. This certainly is a different looking Cavalier team than the one that you've seen over the last few seasons. Where do they present challenges where they might not have over the last couple of years for your club? Uh, well, JB has done a, a great job. Um, you know, with a young team, and I do have some key veteran uh, influences on the team, but they're defending at an extremely high level, which is hard to do with a young team. They have great size, uh, versatility, and, um, you know, disruptiveness um, because of that length, um, but they're also rel- well-schooled, um, and th- they're playing to a, a very intentional identity defensively, and they've made it tough for a lot of uh, teams. Um, so you have to be able to, to score. You have to be able to get uh, the ball where you need it to get to. Um, and you have to get the, the kind of shots uh, against a, a good defense where you're moving them and um, and playing to your strengths. Um, and then obviously uh, the young players have, have really stepped up. Uh, you know, Garland, I, I was able to spend some time with him this summer, you know, with the uh, – the select team and he had his moments where he was really playing uh, well you know so well that um you know with all the injuries and adversity that the the senior team was dealing with they had him stick around um even after our deal was done and he, he continued to play and practice with them and i think that just really uh elevated his confidence uh and mobley you know clearly has has changed things uh you know, with that with that franchise and marketing, we have a lot of really good young talent, and and JB's done a really good job of, of putting it together.